welcome back to my channel. I figured I would just show you today how I do my everyday makeup um, when I do actually get ready. As you guys know, I don't do my makeup a whole lot, uh, but when I do, this is kind of sort of what it looks like. So right now I am just priming my eyes. I am using the Milani eyeshadow primer. Um, and I have the color nude so it dries on nice it looks nice and it helps just get a nice clean base for all my eyeshadow so that's what it looks like right there and then I'm gonna be taking my Maybelline super safe better skin concealer and corrector I'm gonna put that on my eyelids as well just again this helps give it a nice base for all your eyeshadows I am just taking just a regular old beauty blender and I'm just blending it in all over my eyelids So that's what it looks like when you're all done. Now I'm going to be going into my Revlon Makeup Pro HD palette and I'm going to be taking the kind of skin tone light pink eyeshadow right there and I'm just going to put that all over my lid. And I'm just taking a normal a uh, fluffy eyeshadow brush and like I said just putting that all over my lid again going into that uh, same eyeshadow palette I'm taking the lightish gray color um, none of these eyeshadows have names so I'm trying to describe it to you but I am taking that and I'm putting that into my crease um, just as a good transition color for the rest of the eyeshadow look so then I'm moving into my naked palette and so all of my eyeshadow have been moved and kind of dropped so I don't know the name of it but it is the kind of silvery metallic color that is in the palette and again I'm just throwing that into my crease as well um, I'm making sure to blend it out pretty evenly so it looks good um, again I'm just taking a normal fluffy eyeshadow brush and just blending that out together And again, going into that same naked palette, I am going into the dark um, metallic brown color, and I'm just going to throw that into the corners of my eyes just to deepen it up there a little bit. Um, nothing too dramatic, just to add a little bit more um, color and dimension to my eyes. So, and again, just using nothing special, just an eyeshadow brush. Really, I don't have any special technique to how I'm doing this. So then, um, for you guys who didn't know this, I prefer not to use black eyeliner. I think it's just a little too harsh for me. So what I am doing, I'm back in that Revolution uh, Pro HD eyeshadow palette, and I'm taking the darkest brown color they have, and I'm getting a pencil brush wet, and I will go into that color, and I will use that as my eyeliner instead of black. Um, I just think it looks nice and it makes my eyes pop since I do have blue eyes. I think the brown works really well with them. Um, have nothing against black eyeliner, I just prefer not to use it. So that's what it looks like. Um, again. I just like the way it looks. Don't have to do this. You can always use black eyeliner if you prefer it, but this is just something I do.
so that's what it looks like on both eyes like I said it's just nice and not too out there so now I am going to prime my whole face for foundation I'm using the cat rice cosmetics it is the prime and fine poreless refining anti shine base keep me matte long lasting oil free primer um, I did pick this up at Ulta so I don't, I mean, I know a lot of people like to put their primer just on their T-zone, but for me, because I do have um, some acne flaring up and all that, I am going to go ahead and put it all over my face. Again, there's no special technique I'm using. I'm just kind of putting a little bit um, everywhere and then I rub it in really good, make sure it's even across my face. And then next, I'm going into my foundation. I am using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I am in soft ivory because I am pasty white. Uh, so, and you'll notice I kind of make a goofy face. I decided to do this video at my dining room table and I accidentally got a little bit of foundation on my white table runner. So, but I am going in with that. Um, I am using just a normal beauty blender. I find that it works better to just get an even coat um, across the skin. Uh, make it brushes, I just, I don't know. They, for me, they leave streaks and I don't care for that. So I just use a beauty blender. Um, one thing about this product, it is not full coverage, but it is buildable to get more of full coverage. So you will notice in the video that I do go ahead and put on a second coat just to give me more of that full coverage and flawless look that I like to get with my foundation. Just blend, 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 blend. It's your best friend when it comes to foundation. So, um, as you can see, you can see still uh, see some of the redness in my acne poking through. So this is where I go back in with one more coat, just to, like I said, get more of that full coverage and cover up those unpleasant spots on my face. So that is the final look with both coats of foundation on. So now I'm gonna go ahead in my Photo Ready Candid Anti-Pollution Setting Powder. So I like to set my whole face. I know some people, again, do not prefer to do that. They only like to, um, if they highlight under their eyes or you know that kind of thing, they like to bake. But I like to go ahead and just set my whole face. I find that it helps me personally have my makeup last a lot longer compared to when I don't set it. So I'm just taking um, just a big fluffy brush and I'm just taking the powder and just setting my whole foundation into place. So you will see after I do this, I look even more white than before, but again, I will fix that. I do use bronzer, so no worries. This is gonna be fixed. I'm not gonna look like Casper all day long.
So I make sure to blend down my neck pretty good, um, just so there's no hard lines with me. It's not very likely, because again, I am so pasty white. But just to be on the safe side, I go ahead and blend down my neck pretty good. So here we go. Now we're on to bronzer. I am using the L'Oreal True Match Bronze It. It is the Sun Kiss Bronzer for face and body. And I am using O2 Medium Bone. I think I am pronouncing that correctly. I don't know. But that is what I use. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on, you know, my bottom of my cheekbones. I will do my forehead. I do a little bit on my nose. And I will do just very so slightly on my jawline. Um, if it does come out looking a little harsh in some areas, I am gonna, which it did to me in some areas, so I will go back in with my big fluffy brush that I used previously to set my face, and I am going to blend it all together so it looks nice and seamless, and there's no, like again, harsh lines. So there we are with that big fluffy brush again. Like I said, just blending it all together so it looks nice and clean and even all throughout. So now we are going in with blush. I am going in with Milani, and I got the color 05 Coral Cove. Um, just so you guys know, you can pick up Milani products in Walmart. That's where I've gotten all of mine. So just in case any of you are wondering, most of these products that I use on my face are just from Walmart, nothing fancy. So I did go ahead and just put that on the apple of my cheeks, and I blended it again, same thing just to make sure there was no unevenness and just nice and flawless. So now we are going on to move to brows. I am using Milani once again in her uh, stay put brow color. I am in 03 medium brown. And I will be using just a little tool uh, brush that they, it comes with when you purchase the brow product. Uh, what I like to do is I like to kind of just outline my brows first. Well, first I'm brushing them because they were a little crazy from how I slept last night. So I brush them and then I take it and I kind of outline the bottom portion and the top portion and get the shape I want. And then I go ahead and just fill it in and then once again just brush through it so it doesn't look too harsh. And sorry, I am looking down at an angle because I do have a little mirror that I was working with right there um, just below camera's view, so that is why I'm looking down there.
So that is what one brow looks like, um, for the most part complete. So now I am doing the same process just on the other eye. So that is what both my eyebrows look like. Gonna brush through the second one really quick. And this one, for some reason, was giving me a little more trouble than the other, but that's all right. We still made it work. So eyebrows are complete. So my next step would be mascara. I am using the L'Oreal False Fiber Lashes. Um, that is the first one I use. That will be my first coat. And then I do go in with the Unique 3D Fiber Mascara as well. Um, so I did go ahead and do my mascara off camera. Just, it was a little bit easier for me to do that. Um, so, but I do use the L'Oreal one first. I put on a coat of that and then I do go in with the Unique 3D Fiber Mascara. And I think it just makes my eyelashes look nice and thick and full. Um, so that is what I do. And so simply now all I'm doing is doing my same eyeliner routine, but I just do it very ever so slightly on my lower lash line. Um, I think again that just helps bring out my eye color. I do have blue eyes, so I think it just makes them pop a little bit more and it's just a little extra bam. So that is what it looks like, and like I said, I, I just do this, it's a personal preference, but it's definitely not a requirement. So this is what the finished look looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Again, this was all super simple and most of the products were all drugstore. So most of them you could find at just a wall, a Walmart, um, Walgreens, see it, any kind of drugstore really. So um, yeah, if you guys like this, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Let me know if I should do any more videos like this. See ya.